Hey guys, how's it all going? I wanted to share with you what I did to upgrade my computer recently. I have a really old CPU, it's a Core i7 920, 2.7 GHz. It's about 7 years old, so that's really good, it's lasted me for a really long time. But lately, it just hasn't had enough grunt to keep up with the latest games. So I decided to look into maybe building a new rig with LGA1151 just being released and DDR4 memory being really cheap now. Um, but still it was going to cost me about 1000 to 1500 depending on how many parts I wanted to change. So I just couldn't really justify spending that kind of cash right now, especially with um, different financial commitments and goals that I'm saving towards for the year. So I looked into maybe doing some liquid cooling for my CPU. So I went out and bought the Corsair H55, which was kind of a mistake because I should have got the H60. It's only a little bit more expensive and you see a, a pretty big improvement in things like the cooling performance and the noise performance. But the uh, my regular computer store didn't have the H60 anyway, so I got the H55. I didn't want to uh, buy it online and wait for postage and all of that. So I bought the H55 and installed it, it's been really good, it's brought down my temperatures by about 10 to 15 degrees all around. Uh, you can see here this is a screen capture from when I was still using a heat sink and fan solution. Uh, my idle temperatures were around 60 degrees and that's at the stock speed of 2.7 GHz. Now here's a screen capture of my CPU under stress. I'm using Prime95 to run it at almost 100%. It shows 100% on the task manager, but um, it kind of actually fluctuates. And you can see it's running pretty hot at 74, 75 degrees Celsius. But that's not too bad. It's well under 100. It's under 80. So I'm happy with that. But again, that's at just the stock speed of 2.7 gigahertz. So there's not a lot of room for overclocking. I did try to overclock it to 3.6 gigahertz. The temperatures went up to 70 degrees at idle and almost 100 degrees under stress. So I would say 90 to 95. I didn't screen capture that one. Now, after installing the H55, I took another screen capture at idle and you can see that it sits around 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. And that's about a 10 to 15 degree drop in temperature. And under stress, that goes up to about 50 to 60 degrees. So again, maybe a 10 or 15 degrees difference from the fan and heatsink solution that I was using. Then I overclocked my CPU to 3.6 gigahertz and here you can see that it idles at about 55 degrees Celsius, which is only about 10 degrees higher than what it was when it wasn't overclocked. And here is the temperature under load, so you can see it's about 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. Um, now that may go up with prolonged use, but even if it hits 80, that's still well under the 100 degrees thermal limit for the CPU. So I'm very happy with the results. I've squeezed a lot of extra power out of the CPU and I've seen improvements in my gaming experiences already. And I expect the computer will last for a lot longer now, uh, at least to the end of the year, if not for a little bit longer. I do have to upgrade my GPU. I'm using a GTX 760. But the reality was that if I had upgraded my entire rig, I would have had to upgrade the GPU anyway. I also upgraded my RAM, so now I have 10 gigs instead of 6 gigs. I have a triple channel motherboard, so what I did was I kept one of my old 2 gig sticks at 1600 MHz, and I bought two new 4 gigabyte sticks at 1600 MHz, all DDR3 RAM. All up, I spent less than $200, so I could put any savings that I would have spent on a new CPU towards a new GPU. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and it might even have helped some of you guys out there. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.